Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Commander. When we last left off, we completed the garage. Oh yeah, we finished the garage off, didn't we? And we also did helicopter hoo-ha. So that leaves the rest of the attic. Now the attic is quite a somewhat challenging mission, to be honest. Uh, challenging area, I should say. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff that can happen here. There's a lot of luck involved. So uh, in the interest of just trying to get the janky stuff out of the way first, let's go for taking over. Taking over, my friends, only have one base in this attic, but I doubt you can take control unless you have parachutists. Parachutists? Of course. Your troops are grounded because they have no means of transport and your plane can't take off due to the enemy tanks. Get rid of them and then parachute your soldiers onto the heart or into the heart of the enemy base. Uh, you've gotten this far, so you've proven that you don't suck. You need something else to suck to get through this level. Hmm, something else to suck. Yes, well, a few uh, <laughs> uh, scenarios go through my mind, but um, they're not exactly uh, YouTube friendly. So, let's get into this. Yeah, we can see we have a little bit of a problem uh, around our base now, don't we? Well, no matter. Oh, they're talking about a vacuum cleaner. Right. Cool. Got ya. <laughs> well, I was way off the mark. Right, let's go and turn this <laughs> sucker on and hopefully get rid of these tanks. Now, this bit isn't the challenging bit. And I like the way they give you a fuel tank there. I mean, it's not really very likely that you're going to be low on fuel just yet. But you never know. Right, there we go. Let's turn this sucker on and... Ooh, there we go. Now, one cool thing about this, if we actually watch the hose of the vacuum cleaner, it does actually, like, animate the tanks going up. But it also uh, animates them going right up into the handle as well, which is... At least I thought it did. Maybe it doesn't. Alright, maybe I'm talking out my ass. Anyway, this is where this mission gets challenging. Because we have to airdrop a load of dudes. Now, the trouble is... There's a lot of stuff that's going to be shooting at us. And that's fine. But as our guys are getting shot at, they do get blasted around the map. And that is where the difficulty and the issues of this mission come into play. It's also incredibly difficult to drop your guys off in that area because the game will say you don't have enough space to drop them. Not sure why. It's this 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 particular mission is very 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 jank. But hey, we will come to terms of that. I'm sure. All right, we're getting a little bit beat up uh, now. We haven't actually done much damage to them. That's really not great. Having said that, oh, see how far this guy got blown away. Having said that, I would rather the enemy shoots at me and not our dudes. Because if our dudes all die, which can happen, we fail. Because we've got no way of, uh, you know, continuing the mission. So, oh, that guy's just like twisting in the wind there. So it kind of seems like you, you have a lot of men. And as you can see, I'm desperately trying to drop these dudes off but it's just not happening okay we're really burning which is pretty rough we'll grab this armor repair also we can and probably will at some point run out of fuel this is also bad yeah we we oh god we don't have many men left in fact i'm not convinced we've got enough left to actually finish this mission wow i've never been decimated to this degree not this early on oh having said that there is only one tower left so if we can get that tower down which we have not all right awkward okay so we need to get some more guys because we do have to destroy the tower as well that isn't uh, finding where these guys go is a bit of a challenge. There's one. Uh, oh, I've got him just twisting in the wind. Sure. Right, come here, you. 
You're being redeployed. There we go. Send him in. Wow, he just like flew off to fucking Narnia. Let's grab some go juice. How's it going? Uh oh, okay. Okay. We've taken out the tower. That's a good thing. Now we've just gotta drop these two guys in. And hopefully they can cause enough damage quick enough. Because that's the thing, we've destroyed everything. We've just gotta cause enough damage to blow everything else up in time. Uh guys. I don't hear any shooting. That's not comforting. Yeah, because we need all this stuff to die. Okay, I don't know where my men are. Alright, we may have to restart this one because I don't know what's going on. This is what I mean about uh, jank on... Oh, there he is. Okay, is it just you? Alright, can we drop you in there? One probably won't get the job done. I mean, he just exploded. Which is not good. I don't know where the other guy is. We've literally got like one man left. But he's blown off somewhere. Uh, this sucks. Dudes. Yeah, okay. That's a restart. Lel. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, this mission can be like unbelievably frustrating. Just because it's just, there's no strategy for it, you know? You've just got to keep, like, deploying troops and hope that it just goes in your way. You can just saturate the area with uh, numbers, but you actually can't just saturate the area with numbers because um, if there's too many men in the area, you won't be able to drop more troops it yeah it's this level man this level um not a fan <laughs> well i don't know actually i say that in theory it's actually a good fun level but in practice yeah yeah not so much all right let's wait for these guys to get sucked up and i'm gonna suck up some coffee whilst i wait oh jesus I actually had about four pints of coffee today. I was working it out. I've drunk three of these big cups. And these cups are about... This cup, I should say, the Sonic Cup, is 1.2 or 1.3 pints. Yeah, I think I've got a problem. Might have to cut back on the caffeine. But, having said that, you got to die of something, right? And caffeine overdose, I mean... Yeah. It'll be probably be in a newspaper somewhere I suppose alright if, it, if it's good enough for these kids to kill themselves with energy drinks I can kill myself with coffee I'm, I'm happy with that ok let's go there we go that's the first brigade in let's go swing by and pick oh no what's happened here I'm picking up the wrong lot, that's what that's what's going on here. Okay, it looks like they're having a little bit of success. And that guy's just flown off to Narnia. That's fine. He can go fight another battle another day. Look at this oh alright, alright, come on, come on. Stop fucking around guys. Seriously. Come on, get back here. Get back into the danger zone. And that's a fucking order you numb nuts ah there's the other guys right yeah they're not near the Sega Saturn at all they're over here uh, of course I knew that right let's try that again what are we looking like oh god actually really not that great to be honest right drop those guys back down ah, we've got a little squad here that we can pick up that'll do donker three men I mean it's not brilliant but it will have to do. Ooh. These guys are kicking a whole serious load of old arsehole here, aren't they? Alright, well, hopefully. They can continue to punish that buttocks. 
sounding promising. Well, I say that. Oh god, they're getting exterminated. They're dropping like fucking flies. It's those rocket towers, man. Those rocket towers are savage to these guys. Okay, right, let's have another sweep. Now, please attack the rocket tower. The rocket tower is the important thing. Right now, anyway. They've got it. Brilliant. No, they have not got it, but... All the time he's not being shot at, we're going to take that as a win. Come on, up and over. Ah, fuck fuel. Yeah, I forget. Fuel's important in an aeroplane. Who would have thought that? Let's go grab this. Yoink. Okay, cool. Right, let's get you and you. Let's drop a full load back on these guys. And that sounds like a certain video from a certain website. All right. Let's drop these guys down. They should. Yeah. Okay, that should be a wrap. Actually, there's quite a nice little angle here. We can just stand here and watch these GIs light this place up. Well, I say that. It looks like there's only actually... Oh, God, these guys are incompetent. Really? <sighs> I haven't seen such incompetence. Oh no, okay, I take it back. I take it back. That'll do, donkey. Uh, five minutes, not brilliant, but it'll do. It's unbelievable. These toys are completely crazy. What did you promise them to make th them let you get away with this so easily? Well, that's for me to know. Now, this is interesting, the heist. I actually like this level. Um, so it's called the heist in this American version of the game, but the European version of this game, this level's called Hold Up, I believe. So let's go. Thief, my jewelry. Look at what happens when you get involved in dangerous games. But who hasn't played cops and robbers? Get a small group of thieves together to help you recover the eight treasures hidden in three different places. Be careful not to destroy a single one. Then hide them in your base. Note that some walls may be less than they appear. Try blasting them and see what happens. Yeah, this is an interesting level. Also, he's called Peggy in this US version. Uh, in the European version, he's called Pegasus. Now, this level's weird because it tells you to uh, get a small group of thieves together. You can, but you don't need to. I, You know, it's such a humongous... You can see the blue guys on the outer edge there. There are thieves that we can help. And there's some in this jail here too. Uh, completely irrelevant. We just don't need to do that at all. We're going to accomplish pretty much all of this mission with these guys. So yeah, absolutely no idea what that does, if anything, accomplish. But hey, whatever. It's there. It's a feature, I guess. All right. Now, we are going to have to cap these guys that are in the castle. So I suppose, really, we could hang back here let loose a volley there is a tank going around as well which uh it's not really much of a problem but we'll probably waste his ass on the way now when it's going on about these walls being really not what they appear it's talk about these here these little i don't know what they they're, they're kind of like tin foil or something i like the way you can just disintegrate these it's really fun i don't know why i like that so much but it's just there's something satisfying about it and there's also this guy here but we don't care about him he is just wheat for the scythe, unfortunately, for him. Unfortunately for him, anyway. Now, we don't need to panic and rush because we've got so much freaking time to do this level. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's go. Now, forwards. Oh, hey, friend. Yeah, well, I mean, fuck you too, buddy. There we go. Oh, hello. This guy's not even going to shoot us, is he? Jackass. Alright, what are we looking at? So we've got the pig up there. We need to take out the piggy bank in a minute. Which we will do. Right, first let's open this up. Oh, look how satisfying that is. Look at that. Look at it. 
I don't know why peeling that back is so satisfying. I, I don't know. I think it was because, you know, blowing stuff up in games and, like, physically changing the environment wasn't really a thing back then. Oh, God. Careful. Fuck. Careful. Careful. So we've got a couple of dudes here defending the area. Let's waste them from afar. Like that. And now we have Mr. Pig. But we can take Mr. Pig out pretty easily. Okay, cool. And I think with that, we're just about done. We just need to get our Scooby Wagon. Get the Mystery Machine on route. So, let's go. I'm actually curious. Like, what? Like, I can't even remember. It's been, it's been so long since I've done this mission legitimately, really. Probably since I was a kid. Um, that I, I don't know. I don't know what the advantage of picking up those dudes actually is. Maybe they destroy the tank. Possibly. I don't know. But anyway, we need to go back because we've got like eight pieces of treasure to pick up. And this uh, Scooby Wagon can only actually hold um, five pieces. So, you know, do the maths. It's not going to work, Chief. But that's okay. That is okay. Alright, so let's drop them in our totally not birdcage here and push on forwards forwards onto dawn i'm just gonna pretend that our our thieves are i don't know guarding the exits or something keeping the cops back i don't know oh fuck that was iffy that was very iffy or maybe I just am just totally misremembering, uh, and you don't actually need to pick up the the cops, uh, the cops, the blue guys at all. I'm not sure. Oh, that was iffy, iffy. Come on, gently glide her up. Lovely, beautiful, smooth. Uh oh, there we go. And the last three bits of treasure should be here. Excellente. Right, let's bank these. There we go. Make sure we get this lot shifted into our offshore account. Lovely. Beautiful. Come on. We can fit another coin in. Yeah, man. There we go. Done and done. Literally like half the time the game gives you. Almost, anyway. You can't even trust enemies nowadays. It's much too easy to beat records under these circumstances. Uh, yeah, if you say so. Ah, oh, quite right. This is an interesting one. Quiet Riot, yes. What a lot of agitation in this attic. Everything is usually going so calm. Could you please tidy things up a bit? Uh, Peggy has her men stirring up trouble. A riot is brewing, so quickly destroy the pickup truck and the tanks that are causing the problem. Yeah, can do. There's the, I think that's the Sega Saturn. I was actually looking back at some old comments for this game on my original LP, and... Uh, Somebody mentioned that that is the Sega Saturn Blaster or something, which, hey man, if that's true, sweet. All right, might as well take this guy out. So there's five vehicles to smash, and we kind of don't have a huge amount of time to do this one. But, you know, there, where there's a will, there's a way. We've got this like sneaky little exit up here. And there's a nice juicy power-up, which is certainly going to come in handy. But that ain't the only power-up we're going to be getting. We're going to drop down here. And in here, there's a nice little stack of supplies. And we can grab a nice little vantage point up here. Where we can pretty much oversee ooh, everything. Come on, stop wasting missiles. I say that, and then he gives us missiles. Pretty nice of the fellow to be honest oh come on will those make it no son of a bitch that's rather unfortunate actually right but we can get this guy so we should be able to yep he's done all right come on buddy there we go no running kids no running one left to get now oh not quite he should actually come up here meet us so we can just wait for him i used to think this level was really tough but it isn't it just requires like a little bit of patience and camping and it's all good baby 
So, how on earth did you manage to beat this record? No matter. I'm convinced I'm the best. Yeah, cool story, dude. Ooh, bunny soup. Now, this is obviously the American version. This is called bunny soup. In the European version, this one's called Hazel the Witch, which I guess is named after the witch that we need to take out. Bunny soup. I bet you've never tasted Hazel's yummy rabbit stew. This witch is a really top-notch cook. Destroy the cooker and broom. Destroy the cooker and broom and then put out the fire under the pot before Boohoo becomes tonight's supper. Hazel must be defeated before you can douse the flames. Yeah, so we've got to take out Hazel the bitch. <laughs> uh, no, just okay. Now, she's actually not too bad. We're in this thing, which ain't too bad, but it's slow as molasses, but that's fine. Right, but before we go and engage with old Hazel and do a bit of a rough and tumble in the sky, we're going to go pick up some power-ups, because we need them. <laughs> because taking on Hazel with missiles kind of sucks monkey balls, so we're not going to bother. Now, once we have these powered-up machine guns, Hazel is really trivial wherever the hell she's disappeared to oh hazel hazel i've got the cure to all your issues me dear there we go like missiles are totally ineffective against her uh, like there's no point really wasting your time with them anyway let's go touch down and let's go see if we can save poor old boo boo interestingly i used to work with a guy and his nickname was boo boo Lel. Right, let's go stop this fire. See if we can stop this poor rabbit before he gets his ass fried. I think you need two doses of water on each flame to put it out. Putting out fire in this game is kind of jank-ish, uh, sort of, maybe, maybe, but it's not too bad. It's just the biggest thing with this mission is trying to take out Hazel before she does uh, well before she wastes too much of your time really okay now, I was trying to remember the other day when I actually played this game I can't believe that was 2014 apparently 2014 I think I was using like a microphone sellotape to oh no I might have had a headset at that point I can't remember I remember when I first started, I was using this super cheap microphone that was sellotaped to a flask. Um, and that flask was literally in my face. Uh, and I, I couldn't get too far away from it. And it was a piece of shit and it like crinkled like a bastard. Because when I started using Let's, uh, doing Let's Plays, we didn't have these fancy blue Yeti USB microphones or anything like that. We used like a shitty cheap mic or you had to go the professional route of getting like an XLR kind of uh, setup because there wasn't even really like proper gaming headsets back then I mean man it was only 2014 but geez that was a long time ago it was kind of crazy only now um, we've got a hey, there we go we saved him look at him he's gonna suck down a carrot <laughs> He's going to flavor himself from within. Yeah, uh, once again, only luck can explain how he managed to beat my record. Because then I brought my... Uh, what did I... Let's try and think what I had to start with. Yeah, I had that shitty mic. And then I went over to a Corsair headset. Like, I think it was a couple of years later. Or it might have been when I was doing this. I can't remember. And that wasn't too bad. And then I bought, like, a cheap condenser microphone, I think, off... Amazon or eBay for like 20 quid and it was absolute dog shit you had to shout into the thing at the top of your voice at the top of your lungs literally scream into it and even then it was so quiet um, and then yeah I used my headset for a while which is good and then I got a blue yeti which I hated um, well I actually liked it when I first got it it was you know really good but it does it, it developed this buzzing sound and they replaced it three times and i even bought another one 
uh, and they all develop this buzzing sound. So whether it's something that I was doing wrong, but I mean, Blue Yeti agreed that they were faulty. And then uh, a couple of years ago, I invested in the Rode MT USB, which is what I still use now, and it is superb. Absolutely love this thing. But we're spoiled for choice now, anyway. Uh, right, so Little Big Taxi next. Little Big Taxi. Uh, you've been busy with your silly games. Oh, you've been so busy with your silly games that you've forgotten the golden rule. You must never leave a girl waiting. Jenny is waiting for Joey at the station and she's getting angry because she's not there. Find Joey and then drive him there. Before Jenny gives up and leaves on the next train, ascend the ramps to find your fare. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, i got to try and remember this one now. Um... Jenny's being a bit of a bitch. She's being a bit of a Barbie, if you will. And Joey's just chilling out. He's just having a good time. Probably trying to get away from her, to be honest. Uh, okay, so let's go. Now, this level, you have to go a very particular path, which I'm fairly sure I've already fucked up, to be honest with you. Nope, we're good. We need to go down this way, don't we? Uh, and I think we can come up around here is that good does that look good I don't know if that looks good I'm gonna say it probably looks good yeah this this place is an absolute mess I'm pretty sure we'll fuck this up this uh, is actually a very short very quick level but I practiced this um, a good while ago <laughs> and uh, yeah I can't remember I think we have to go we definitely have to go down one of these. It might be that one there, actually, thinking about it. That's the boy. There we go. Beautiful. Right, sweet. And then, I think, up over... Yeah, there we go. There we go. The old brain, she don't work so good anymore. But I still remember things about stuff sometimes. Cool. Now, let's go pick up uh, Joey. So you can go get an ear bashing from Jenny. Poor bastard. Wouldn't want to be in the room when that happens. There you go. Come here, dude. I'm sorry, man. She's already paid for the fare, so... You know. Actually, she doesn't seem like the sort that would be paying for anything. Okay. Let's go. Gently does it. Now, somewhere... We can get on the railway tracks. Up here, I think. And then we can take him... To the train station. I wonder where they're going. Somewhere nice, I hope. Ah, will that work? That might work. Actually, we can just go down here and around here, I think. Oh, careful now. Careful. Don't want to kill the guy on the way there. Although, maybe he would probably prefer that. There we go. Right, let's take him back. There you are. <sighs> Found the wandering. Oh god, almost. Jesus. She obviously didn't pay much for her fare. Gave the guy a bit of excitement before he uh, has to go face the music. Right, not bad. Happy with that. So, the only thing left. I suppose it isn't so awful that you beat me this time. At least Jenny is taken care of. Us girls have to stick together. Yes. Right, okay. So, Peggy... Sweetheart, the time has come to settle our differences. And let me assure you, there's going to be trouble. Yeah, this one is interesting. She's actually a really big target, but she can be a little bit finicky. She's not actually that bad. Certainly our harder bosses in this game. She's just going to assemble herself. Like a transformer or something. We're going to get out of dodge. Because you can see we only have like 10 missiles. That's not great. So we're going to fly around the map a little bit. And get powered up. Uh, there is a couple of repairs around I think. But depending on how this goes. We might not need them. You can take her out really quick. The most annoying part of this mission. I think. Is uh, getting tooled up and ready for action. Okay. Yeah, she's literally hot on her ass. But don't worry. We'll clip her wings. In fact, shooting her down here is not a bad little place to take her out, to be honest. There we go. 
And now she's got these little handlebar weapons, which are kind of frustrating. They're actually really hard to hit. And uh, we've taken one too many hits there, to be honest. Not happy with that. But that's fine. We can just duck in here. Get ourselves all patched up. Not an issue. We just need some more missiles. It's fine. Ooh, come on. Now, she does start doing a somewhat good amount of damage to you if she can hit you. These homing missiles of hers. But that's the next stage. And hopefully by the time she gets to that stage, we would have enough firepower to just blast her to pieces. Yeah, we could actually. Yeah, because she's not she doesn't have a homing weapon yet. Let's see if we can cherry pick that handlebar off. She's smoking, man. Alright, there we go. There we go. Do we have enough? Not quite enough to do her in, actually, sadly. But luckily good thing about the chain gun is it's pretty good at destroying uh, projectiles which we can use to our advantage like that couldn't be asked to fly around and pick up more missiles job done peggy is out of here that peggy is just an old nag <laughs> i'm not in the least surprised that she left those rebels she let those rebels loose uh, I should turn her into firewood and burn all of this old rubbish. Toy Commander gives you his word. Yeah, that's kind of oddly translated, but sure. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so that is the attic done. Next, we're going on to the living room and greenhouse. I actually quite like the living room and greenhouse from what I can remember. But uh, that will come to pass in the next video. Anyway, oh, actually into the great wide open i think yeah that race is actually quite challenging if i remember correctly so the dog fights if i remember because it's just really finicky to hit the enemies but you know we're using an xbox pad this time but anyway guys i'm gonna have to leave it there thank you very much for watching and as always till next time